welcome to your reading for October the 9th through the 15th. This is a general reading. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest if you'd like a personal reading and I highly recommend a personal reading. And I don't mean just with me, you can get it with anyone. Um, but if you'd like it with me, that information will be below in the description box. And when you press show more on YouTube, that will open up. Or on your phone, it's a little, um, it's a little uh, arrow on the top right. Now, um, thank you for all the love last week on YouTube. I really appreciate, look, I really appreciate you all. I always answer any comments or feedback and I love to hear how your reading went and how your week went so you know or how it's going so please you know um, comment give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and um, share if you feel inspired and if you haven't already please subscribe so without further ado let's go to the cards now the first card that came up for you Virgo is the nine of wands and this is like wow this is someone that's really worked hard at protecting and built up something very somebody that's really worked hard and they're kind of a bit battered and a bit tired because they've been fighting it's almost like they've been in battle for years protecting what they've what they've created you know Whatever this is, this is like, uh, it's a really, um, when this card comes up, it's saying persevere, right? Persevere, don't, you know, it's like protect that which is yours. You've worked hard for it, you deserve it. And this is something that, you know, you need to do. And what's really wonderful is right next to it, the star has come up now the star is like there's a light at the end of the tunnel this is almost done darling it's a number nine and the stars coming out this is healing this is like there's a light there's hope and a light at the end of the tunnel the battle's nearly over darling it's just like you know persevere stay in there just a bit longer it's going to pay off it's going to be wonderful for you the star is a deep cosmic healing, you know, you're going to be healed of those wounds and all that battle that you've done. All that hard work is going to be healed. Look, the star's sprinkling starlight where it's been dark and it's showing you the path. So just hang in there a bit longer, Virgo. It's going to pay off. Don't worry. And we've got the three of cups. The three of cups is... Oh, wow, this is like celebrate every... This is like, darling, look for the magic in every moment. This is celebrate every single moment like it's amazing. That's the law of attraction, right? You're going to attract more things to be grateful for and celebrate if you're in celebration. It's really important. Say if you're celebrating, you're feeling fantastic. That's when you bring in what you desire into that because then you've got that feeling and you're bringing the intention in and the desire and then boom we're in powerful manifesting energy right now you know what's interesting on the ninth um sorry on the tenth jupiter moves into scorpio and jupiter's the planet of bigger better more expansive right and then you've got um, Scorpio, when Jupiter moves into a sign, it moves in there for a whole year. So it's moving in on the 10th to Scorpio. So it's like looking for the deeper meaning in life. It's like getting to the meat and potatoes, the nitty gritty of how it all happens. A deeper meaning, spiritual, you know, it's beautiful, beautiful. Um, so celebrate and look, you've got the ace of coins. That's definitely material. Something wonderful is coming. This is like, look at all those beautiful gems in that coin. This is a gift coming in. Now, this is the beginning of some. This can be a gift of time. It can be a gift. Usually, I mean, they traditionally, they say it's a gift of money. Oh, wow. You've got two aces here. Look, you've got the ace of wands and the ace. This is beautiful. Abundance. This is definite abundance and creative energy. This is definite. Oh, wow. Okay. 
So now you have, the, there's definitely crossover here. You've got to check for the other, your sun, moon and rising down below. You've got these two opposing things here. This is, I'm getting, normally I say this is something that you're hanging on to, that you need to let go of, that doesn't work for you anymore. But I'm getting, this is definitely um, holding on to money is energy. So you've got this gift that's coming in. You've got all these gifts. This is the news of money and opportunity coming to you, right? These are all gifts. This is celebrate, right? And these are all gifts. This is look, creativity, material wealth. But you've got this fear, and maybe that's what you have to let go of, the fear. You've got this fear of not having enough and not like if you spend money, you won't get it back. It's going to go. So you're hanging on to it. Look, you've got to understand that money is energy. So when you hang on to it like that and you're scared to spend it, you're actually blocking that energy. So you have to spend it. But I'm not saying go shopping or anything like that. It's like spend it wisely. Give it to somebody less fortunate. You know, spend it where it's going to multiply. So if it's like if you're in business, spend it on the crafts of your business, spend it as an investment, but definitely let it, let the energy flow. Money is energy. So look, all this is coming to you. You shouldn't worry about it disappearing. It's not going to disappear. Look, there's abundance there for you, Virgo. Don't worry about not having, don't put your, focus on what's coming and what you've got as opposed to what you might not have <laughs> in the future we're in a, this so celebrate celebrate all that you have celebrate every opportunity every look at everything as a gift like when somebody gives you a gift of time and energy they listen to a problem that you have you know that's all a gift of their time that's very valuable Somebody helps you out in some way. You know, you get an opportunity. Everything, if you celebrate your glass as half full and you're celebrating every moment, you are attracting all this abundance, right? But if you're holding on to things, that's you're blocking that energy. So you need to take the blocks down, Virgo. Drop the fear. Let go of the fear. Fear is the acronym for forgetting that everything is all right. Right? Isn't that great? I wish I thought of it, but somebody else did. Fear is forgetting that everything is all right. Drop the fear. You're going to be okay. You've got abundance. Focus on celebrating the abundance that you have. And you'll create more of it. Persevere, darling. Stay in there. You get paydays coming. Look, this is definitely paydays coming. Hang in there just a little bit longer. Just a little bit. Things are really... That hard work and those battles, I know you're dog-eared from it and you're tired. That's all going to finish. Just hang in there. You've got the light at the end of the tunnel. The star's coming in. Don't forget that. Don't hang on to money like that. Don't. It's blocking you. You need to really, really let that go. I remember years ago, this is interesting. I remember years ago, as a single parent, I was working in the fashion industry at the time. And I remember I was earning like 40K. And, and my friend invited me for a coffee. And I remember saying, I couldn't afford the coffee. And I thought afterwards, that was crazy. You know, that was crazy that I couldn't afford to buy a coffee and I didn't want to tell her I couldn't afford it because I didn't want her buying it for me. And then I got back and I said, you know what, I'm living in deprivation. So I remember like spending money, going to get a manicure, pedicure, it was something very simple like that, but it made me feel rich. And guess what? Money started coming in and I found the money for that. And it was when, it was when the penny dropped, it was like, oh wow, it was the... It was really fascinating for me. It was like, oh, now I get it. If I'm constantly holding on to it, I'm blocking it. It's not coming in. As soon as I felt rich and, and, and um, abundant and I was nurturing and 
and uh, spending money on me. I was feeling lavish. I was feeling uh, money came in. It was, it was so incredible that that lesson happened then. And that's what this is. That's the four of coins. Virgo. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week. For a personal reading, please email mary at liveinthesolution.com.